New York City, home to 8.6 million people, everyone searching for meaning and answers. There is no proof of God anywhere in the universe. We will debate that and more on today's episode of The Millennial Prophet. I am your host, Miles Finer, reminding you that there is no God and that is okay. Per usual, you're misinformed. You grew up in the church, you know this better than anyone. Yes, it is true. My father's a reverend. We got the whole Luke Vader dynamic going on. I thought I had it all figured out. But then something happened and it changed my life forever. I got a friend request from God. <laughs> what? Holy... Hey, damn kids! Oh. You come around here again, I'll call the police! Get up! Who's John Doe? Whoa, whoa! I am so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you, just saved my life. Thank you. Nice try. Come on. Yo, who the hell is Kara Bloom? Let me get this straight. You're being catfished by someone calling themselves God on Facebook. Yes, and I need your hacker skills to give me their IP you address. Keep your voice. How many times I gotta tell you I'm not a hacker? Okay, I'm a video game enthusiast. Okay, what do you know? My only lead? Kara Bloom. She writes for Catapult. Cute and accomplished. This isn't Tinder, Rakesh. You mean Bumble, bro. Nobody uses Tinder anymore. I'm gonna go down there, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. What are you gonna tell her? God sent you? Kara, Kara, are you God? Excuse me? I just really want to know who's behind the God account. Look, I don't know what you're on, but I carry mace. <sighs> We're glad you didn't grow up with social media. Listen, I don't know anything about the God account. It doesn't make any sense. Why would they send me your name? You want to figure out who's screwing with you. I'm a journalist. I know how to find people. You can't have one foot in the eternal plane. You either believe or you don't. Or you recognize that there's something greater at work here. I don't know, some grand design connecting us all? There is no grand design. You know, it's kind of like the prodigal son, except God is using Facebook to bring you and dad back together. You see what growing up in a house of religion does to the mind? Rakesh. Yo, you need to get back to your apartment, like, right now. Someone or something hacked your computer. It's crazy. It won't stop showing your photo. The same song's playing over and over. I can't make anything stop. Just pull the plug. No, no, there has to be a reason why they're doing this. How'd you get it to stop? I didn't. It stopped on its own. Uh, I gotta go. What was that all about? It's just you and your family. And my mom's doctor and nurse. You think she knows one of them? Do you remember their names? No, I was eight. But there is one person who may know. Dr. John Andrews and his nurse, Susan Albright. They took great care of your mother. Thank you. Hey, Miles, wait. This podcast of yours. You think you're helping people, but you're not. That's not true. You are taking away people's hope. And you're telling them that God is watching over us. You know better than anyone that's not true. You don't think that what happened made me question my faith? Some days it's hard to see. Hell of a view. If I was a fool. Look, I know the nurse in the photo is your mom. She left when you were a kid, right? Why do you even care? When I was eight, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. So I prayed for a miracle, and then it happened. She went to full remission. The doctors couldn't even explain it. I don't understand. If God answered your prayers, why don't you believe? Because on the way home from the hospital, she died in a car accident. Miles. Look, I don't know who's behind this or why they chose me, but I do know that your mom is still out there. I'd give anything to say the same. There she is. You can do this. It's a really nice day. Yeah, it is. Kara. Hi, Mom. I heard you became a nurse. Kara. Why didn't you come home? Mom? Oh, no. Guess that answers that. Wait! Kara! Kara! 
She came out of nowhere. Call 911. John Dove? You're the guy from the subway. She needs a doctor. I am a doctor. <laughs> we got a pulse. <sighs> You saved John Dove and he saved me. If you think about it, it's kind of like a grand design. I want to be a part of your life. When you pulled me back, I realized you know, I didn't want to die. Thank you. People say that God has a plan for all of us. Well, I never believed that to be true. But then he friended me, and it kind of turned my life upside down. Not that I think it's God, but in these crazy times we live in, we owe it to ourselves to ask the tough questions. Wait a minute. You don't think Dad is behind this, do you? Really, Miles? He can't even use Netflix. <laughs> <laughs>